Hola, how is everyone? I hope good. I am Sunny with Healing Power Divine Universe, and I am here with what is the truth of your situation? What is the truth? What do you need to know? What do you need to know about what is going on in your life? With that being said, I ask that you hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification so you're notified when I upload more videos, hit that like button, and share this video if you think others can benefit from my messages today. Otherwise, let's get started. So what is the truth? What is going on? We have the King of Cups. Now, the King of Cups has been coming out a ton in my readings lately. This king is a water sign. It's Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Uh, has a lot of emotions, love, you know. Always is carrying around a cup of love with him. So you are probably connecting to a water sign. This could represent a woman. It doesn't always have to be a man. But the King of Cups has been coming out in my reading, so I do believe that there is a water sign moving towards you with a cup of love. Love. It's not about finding love. You are love itself. Help me, Lord, to send so, com so much compassion and caring to the inner child that I always remember. I, myself, am love. So Spirit's wanting you to remember that you yourself are love, that you can give yourself that cup of love. You don't always have to get that from other people if you are feeling unloved at this time. Just know that you are loved. You don't have to look on the outside of yourself, on the outside of your situation to receive love. You are love yourself. We are all energy of love. We were created with the energy of love. So we have judgment. I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenge. So if anyone is um, having harsh judgment towards you, I think that spirit is really making people open their eyes to not judging people. Maybe if you are unique and different, maybe people are starting to see that in a different light if they were judging you in a harsh way before. If this is you judging someone, please, please, please don't judge someone because they're different. Just know that we are all unique. We all are on, a, on our own path and we all do have our own challenges in life. Finances. So with this, I feel that finances are a huge um, kind of spotlight in all of our lives right now. I think that we are all working hard to really gain more financial stability. It could be that um, I'm hearing that maybe you're going to be receiving an inheritance that you've been waiting for. If you have lost somebody um, to death, I am sending my condolences uh, and sending tons of healing and unconditional love to each and every one of you. But I do feel like you are going to really uh, start gaining a lot of new financial success if you've been struggling. Um, even if you haven't been struggling, I still feel like finances are coming towards you in, in a positive way. Obstacles and challenges. Everything that we face in our life are obstacles and challenges, even when they are good. If you look at, you know, just each and everything that we go through each and every day, you know, we, we face a lot of obstacles and challenges. I do feel that you um, and I have both been facing a lot of obstacles and challenges, but I believe that spirit has put those in our way to help us learn, help us grow, and help us move on the path that we're meant to be on. Wanting find balance. So I feel that we are finding balance. I feel that, um, again, we've been on a path that Spirit has really kind of uh, put a lot of obstacles and challenges in our way to help us grow, to help us move down the path that we're meant to go down. I feel that we are finding this balance in our life. I feel that we are finding uh, financial stability, happiness, unconditional love within ourselves. We have mind. So if you are up in your mind about anything, if this is you feeling this way, remember to meditate. Remember to um, do anything and everything possible to get out of your mind. You might have a lot going on in your life that is causing fight, you know, obstacles and challenges. If you have lost someone to death, that definitely gets us stuck up in our head thinking of things, um, you know, having regrets. Grief, anger, sadness, you know, just whatever you're feeling at this time. But what we're, we're needing is to get out of our head. If this is not representing you, this represents somebody that is in your situation. They are really stuck up in their head. They are really not knowing to go left or right. 
Um, this could be this King of Cups, not no, sure on where to go next with maybe their love offer or with trying to help you uh, with your finances, I'm hearing. I do feel like this is somebody in your situation. They are really stuck up in their head. So maybe that's why this King of Cups hasn't came towards you. Again, this doesn't have to be a water sign. This could be a king that's in his emotions and it's coming out with the um, cups. Meaning that, you know, this king is really in his mind about you, uh, in his mind about love, wanting to offer you love. Maybe this person is afraid of judgment. Maybe this person is worried about their finances. Maybe they're learning to offer themselves love before they come towards you too. There's two different scenarios here. Semi-sextile, allowing. It encourages, sees the potential in, clarifies, gives hope to, uh, tempers, responds, cycles, grows, realizes, and rewards. This is a sign of Aries, Tor Torres, excuse me, Gemini, and Cancer. So those signs are really strong in this reading. We have enlightenment. So you are definitely being enlightened about a situation, about a person, about yourself. But as you can see in this card, the sun is shining bright. And it has this gentleman right here all glowing in the sun. And this baby right here is being enlightened with information, with positive information, I feel. So I do feel that there is positive information coming towards you that is really going to enlighten you to your situation, to where to go next, which path to choose. We have two of cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. The two of cups represents an important union, balance in a relationship, even coming back together with somebody. This could be somebody from your past. This could represent family. This could represent friends, an old romance uh, coming back together. But it is two cups of love being offered towards you. Knight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This knight is like moves, uh, swift movement, uh, chaotic. He could be a quick-minded, serious young man. So you could have a knight uh, coming straight towards you that is a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This knight could represent somebody that's younger than you. This person could have maybe a sleeve tattoo. See his tattoos. Doesn't have to be, but... And he could have long hair and a beard, just so you know. I'm noticing that on this card for some reason. So you might have more than one choice of love coming towards you. This could also represent a teenager, a, a male teenager that could be part of your uh, situation. Maybe this knight is coming towards you to enlighten you about information that you've been waiting for to bring out the truth of your situation. We have the King of Swords in reverse. Now we have the King of Swords is Aquarius to me. This is a father figure. This is um, a man in uniform uh, connected to law, government. With this being in reverse, I feel that this King of Swords has been taken out of your life in some way. If this King of Swords has been taken out of your life in a death situation... Like I said before, I send my condolences, I send healing, unconditional love to each and every one of you. But I feel that this King of Swords could represent a father figure, definitely, or somebody in your life that was really um, weighing you down, that was really causing you a lot of problems in your life. And abusing their power. It could even be corruption. So... But I feel that this King of Cor uh, Swords, excuse me, has been taken out of your life in one way or another. We have compassion. When you finally bless and embrace your aloneness, you're ready for the ones who are meant to be with you. May I welcome this solitude knowing it will open the way for all healthy relationships. So know that you are definitely um, alone at this time. I'm sure you already know that. Or you're starting to embrace this aloneness. But I feel that we have been alone for a very long time. I feel that we are moving out of that. And we are going to move into companionships with friends. 
with family, with new romantic partners. Purpose. I know what I'm here to do. So you are learning what your life purpose is. You are going to definitely know what you are here to do. It will come out with the truth of your situation for sure. Um, if you don't already know what your purpose is. But I kind of do feel like you do know is what I'm hearing. I think that you are on your path, on your journey, going, moving straight towards fulfilling your life purpose. Relationship dynamics. So there's going to be some relationship dynamics that are going to be going on. If it is people leaving your life, if it is people coming back in your life, if it is creating new relationships with new people that you're meeting. But you're going to have some changes when it comes to that. New beginnings. You're going to have new beginnings with new people, with new relationships. I do feel like it is in a love situation. I do feel like love has been really represented in all of my readings uh, recently. And I do feel like somebody is coming in to offer you love for sure. Third eye, spirits wanting you to really pay attention to what you are seeing, what you are being shown with your third eye. This is really important. Do not, um, you know, ignore it. Do not try to avoid seeing what they're showing you. It, there is a very important message for you that you are receiving through your third eye. Harmony. Harmony is going to be coming straight towards you. Harmony is coming back into your life. If you have not had harmony in a long time, just know that once this truth comes out, that you're really going to live in harmony, that your life is going to be finally, you know, um, on an equal balanced level, it's going to be in harmony. Sixth house, craft, work, details, health, well-being, diet, service, <coughs> excuse me, daily rituals, contribution, organization, Purification, skills, apprenticeship, method. This is a sign of Virgo. So Virgo is strong in this reading. We have release. You're needing to release what is not serving your highest good. If it is grief over someone's death, if it is just a death to a situation, a death to an idea, a death to anything that is holding you back, keeping you in the dark. As you can see, this person is in the dark. The sun is trying to shine upon it, but you are needing to release whatever is not serving your highest good or release whomever isn't serving your highest good. Five of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. The five represents a temporary hardship, guard against loss. So you might be in this temporary hardship. I feel that we have been in this temporary hardship. And I think Spirit's wanting us to, to really watch the people around us. You see this dog? This dog is chasing these two people off. This dog does not want these two people to be around. So you need to guard against loss. There might be somebody that's trying to um, steal from you. Maybe they already have stolen from you. Um, maybe there's people that are going to try and come in and, you know, manipulate you, um, whatever it is. But this loyal friend, this loyal dog is chasing them off. So be aware of the people that are around you. Be aware of any type of a, agreements that are coming towards you. You really need to guard against losing um, any type of financial money. If money's owed to you, you need to go get it. You need to definitely um, allow your loyal friends maybe to help fight for what it, you deserve. We have the High Priestess, sign of Cancer and Pisces. You definitely are in the high priestess position. The high priestess is very intuitive. So you need to be paying attention to what your intuition is telling you. People look at you this way. They know that you are the keeper of all secrets. They know that you could release the secrets anytime. I feel that you have been holding on to these secrets for a very long time. And with the truth of your situation coming out, I think that you're finally going to be able to speak out about these secrets. Uh, tell the truth. Um, reveal what people have been ignoring, of, reveal what people have been hiding, anything. But your intuition spot on, so know that you are on the right path. Hold on. I apologize about that. Sorry. I have the Four of Swords in reverse, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. The Four represents rest and recovery following strain. 
So I feel that you we have been in this rest and recovery for a long time. We're moving out of that. I feel that we have rested and recovered from whatever we have been going through. We are releasing what we need to release, and we're really moving forward to positive, happier times. More unconditional love, more, more stability, more um, freedom. And I think that with the truth coming out, it's going to release you from a lot of um, difficult times in your life. It's going to allow you to have freedom, which is absolutely beautiful. Spaciousness. What do I no longer need? Help me, God, to release whatever people, places, or things that drain my vital essence. Show me what will fill me with enthusiasm and joy. So you are making spaciousness in your life. You are cutting out anything and or anyone that is not serving your highest good. If people are treating you like shit, you are releasing those people. You are no longer going to allow anyone to treat you anything less than what you deserve. You're standing in your power. You have self-love and self-respect. And you are going to get rid of anything that does not provide you with enthusiasm and joy in your life. Abundance. I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. So you have abundance coming straight towards you. You have abundance coming towards you when you create the spaciousness in your life. When you finally cut out anything or anyone that does not uh, provide you with enthusiasm and joy in your life. End of the air. So you might have lost um, a parent recently. You might have lost somebody that was in authority that was keeping you stuck in the past. You no longer are in that past. You are you are set free. You are moving towards creating a whole new era for your life. Traditions. You are you are moving straight toward, towards a path that no longer is going to keep you bound to the things that you don't want to be bound to. <coughs> I'm sorry. Keep you bound to the darkness. Keep you bound to childhood traumas, disappointments, heartache, anything like that, you are releasing it and you are creating a new cycle in your life. We have the third eye chakra again. This is a huge, huge message. You are receiving information through your third eye. You need to take time, go for a walk out in nature. You need to meditate. You need to really pay attention to what spirit is showing you. Your third eye is giving you the truth of this situation and that's what's going to definitely give you the answers that you have been seeking. That is very, very important because then we have the crown chakra. The crown chakra is a chakra that we receive all our downloads. That is how we are connected to source himself. This is where we get our downloads, where our third eye, everything starts with the crown chakra. You are, you are receiving the truth of this situation. You have all the answers because you're the fucking high priestess. Awareness. Be aware of what is going on, what people are doing, what your situation is, what spirit's trying to tell you. Really pay attention. It is very, very important that you are paying attention at this time because you are receiving the truth of your situation because you are the fucking high priestess. And you are the person that people are afraid of because they know that you have the power, you have the uh, secrets, and they know that you are directly connected to source. Second house assets, material world, possessions, finance, talent, value, solitude, worthiness, wardrobe, luxuries, credit score, security. This is a sign of Taurus. So Taurus is strong in this reading. We have a miracle card. This card has came out in the last couple readings. Just know that you are this fucking miracle. You are this miracle. No matter if people in your situation, in your life, if it's been your family, if it's been romantic partners, friends, have made you ever feel less than this, you need to know you are the fucking miracle. We have the Six of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Also with this, I want to go back. Believe in this miracle because this miracle is coming straight towards you. If you, if your family or anyone has done you wrong, the universe is making all those wrongs right because the universe looks at you as this miracle. And everyone in your situation will know who you are and what you represent, which is the miracle and this high motherfucking priestess. Excuse my mouth, but that is awesome. We have the Six of Pentacles. 
Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It is successful gains, sharing gifts. So again, you are going to have success. You are going to be able to share. You're going to be able to give gifts to people. You are going to have financial security. You are this miracle. And so are your finances. You are being rewarded for whatever truth the situation is, whatever you are going through. The last card I pulled is the Seven of Cups in reverse. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This is feeling overwhelmed with choices. One must be made imagination. So with this being in reverse, you have made up your mind. You know what you want. You know exactly where you're heading. You are connected to the divine and the divine is sending you on the correct path. Bringing in the people that need to be in your life and bringing you financial stability. So with that being said, what an amazing reading. Remember, you are this fucking miracle. Don't ever let anybody make you feel any different. Anyways, with that being said, I'm sending so much love, so many positive vibes to each and every one of you. Thank you so much for watching my channel. I love each and every one of you so very much. Please take care of yourself and I'll check you on my next video. Peace.